Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today, we are talking about adjustment clips in Resolve 16. This may be something that you missed in the update. There was a lot of exciting new features, including a brand new page, but adjustment clips are one of the most powerful features inside of Resolve 16. And where I really think this is powerful is for color grading. Here I am inside of the color page of DaVinci Resolve 16, and I have a few different shots here kind of laid out in our timeline, courtesy of our friends over at raw.film. There's a link in the description to check out their awesome stock footage shot on red. But normally approaching the sequence, I would adjust one of these shots and then probably copy my grade over to the other shots and tweak them as necessary. The other thing I could do is make an adjustment or possibly use a LUT on a node applied to a group of shots. But with adjustment clips, that workflow is a ton easier. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my edit page, just click on edit down here, and I'm gonna add an adjustment clip. Easiest way to do that is to go up to my effects library, I'll close out my media pool, and go down to effects and grab adjustment clip and just drag that down into my timeline. And I'll just adjust this to fit the end of my timeline so that it's over all of my clips. Any adjustment that I make to this clip is going to happen to everything below it. So if I add an effect like a blur, that'll happen to everything below it. And that's really cool in the edit page, but where it gets really amazing is the ability to use the power of other pages right inside the edit timeline. So what I'm gonna do is just select this clip and go down to color, switch over to the color page, and here the second little thumbnail in our clips is called adjustment clip. So whatever changes I make to this, is actually gonna to happen to the entire timeline because our adjustment clip is over everything in the timeline. So I'll bring up my scopes and I'm going to push the lift down, push the gamma up, maybe do a little bit of balancing, push up my saturation a little bit. Maybe I'll take out some of that green in the gamma, maybe warm it up just a little bit. Maybe add a little contrast curve here, just resize this so it's a little easier to see. And now I have a nice correction that's applied to everything in my timeline. And the coolest part is if I want to adjust a certain shot, I can just grab that shot and I can make adjustments to that clip. Let's say take some of the pink out of these trees without messing with my overall correction. So working like this is similar to a way that you might have used a shared node or a group node before. You can make an adjustment, you can even add a LUT, and make any tweaks to individual shots before it hits that correction. So that's really cool, but if we go back to the edit page, I can even stack these adjustment clips and do some pretty neat things. I'm gonna grab another adjustment clip and maybe I'll change the clip color here to kind of a yellow. So we remember that's a warm correction. Now let's make a cold correction. I'll just disable this clip by right clicking and unticking that enable clip. And now if I go back to my color page, I'll see my adjustment clip shows up, but this is actually the one in track three, which we can see here in our mini timeline. And now I can add kind of a, maybe a cooler look to make it look like a kind of more of a dreary day. That again is applied over the entire project. But now if I go back to the edit page, I can even do some fancy things to mix these looks by just cutting my adjustment clip. So we can go from cool to warm in a very visual way. I can even stack these and fade them to change my color grade over time. This is also an easy way to preview certain looks and give you a little bit more control right here in the edit page. Adjustment clips are super powerful. You can do just about anything that you could do to a normal clip inside of the color page to an adjustment clip and have it apply to whatever's below the adjustment clip. You can use multiple adjustment clips throughout your timeline. You can stack them. You can adjust the opacity. It's really, really powerful. You can even apply open effects and all kinds of different distortions and everything to add timeline-wide effects to your edit. It's freaking amazing. This is a feature that I've really liked in other apps and now that it's in Resolve and implemented so nicely and so powerfully, I know I'm gonna be using it all the time. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more color grading and post-production tutorials, videos about DaVinci Resolve, that kind of thing, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.